We're going to take a look at Michael Lierra Jr.'s winning full guard techniques DVD. If you watched the Pan Ams and Mundiales this year, you'll have seen that Lierra Jr. won each tournament using the full guard exclusively in almost every match. You can order this DVD at LierraJr.com for a minimal price of $20. The short video you see here actually opens up the DVD when you press play and was filmed at Atos headquarters in San Diego, California. The DVD begins with a short introduction from Lyra Jr. and then each technique starts with a brief title credit. Lyra will then discuss the technique first and get into demonstrating with his uke and fellow teammate Ruben. Multiple clear angles are used throughout every technique shown and the instruction is professional and straight to the point. For a do-it-yourself video, the production is pretty solid. It does get kind of bright in some places and there is a slight echo from the audio, but you have to remember this wasn't filmed in a studio. Have a listen to the audio. But when I move his wrist to the other side of mine here, when he goes to reach for my collar, I'm afraid. As a bonus at the end of the video, Lyra Jr. actually breaks down YouTube footage of some of his matches from his brown belt run at the Moon Jowls. I thought this was a pretty cool addition as most high level competitors don't break down their own matches. Like the techniques he shows in the DVD, the packaging is simple and effective, straightforward and no frills. The clear jewel case and printed CD is what you get. They wanted to keep the costs low so they didn't go all out with the packaging. The techniques are able to flow well with one another in case one should fail and there are multiple options for you to choose from. I think this DVD is a must have for white and blue belts who want to add great attacks from the close guard. Overall, for the $20 you'll spend on this DVD, it's a fantastic buy and it's a great pickup in our opinion. The techniques are solid and sound and the instruction is great. Not a whole lot of people play the closed guard and are winning the Moon Jowls at the lower belts these days, so grab this DVD and get to work on your closed guard. Also be sure to sign up at LierraJr.com because Michael will be putting out some exclusive videos soon to his subscribers. I want to thank you all for watching and please enjoy the sample technique that we're about to show you. Okay, so now that we've got to the close guard, uh, the first set of attacks I wanted to go through were uh, with the arm drag, the 2 on one arm drag to the back. Um, this was the attack that I used throughout most of my fights this year, and there's a few key details that I use that really make the position effective and uh, will really help in getting to, to the, your opponent's back. Okay, so first, make the 2 on one grip here on his sleeve. I move my hips to the side, and from here, I'm gonna push on his grip and lean back with my shoulders this way. Now from here, I move his hand to the inside, and the reason I do this is that from here, I try to grab his armpit and bring his hand to my hip, he's gonna grab my collar again. And once he grabs my collar, it's gonna be hard to drag his arm to the side. But when I move his wrist to the other side of mine here, when he goes to reach for my collar, I'm framing here, and I'm just gonna bring his wrist all the way down to my hips here. Boom. Now once I have this position, drop my foot on the mat, lift my hips up, and now from here, when I drop my hips back down, I'm gonna drag his arm across this way, and hug his opposite armpit and lat right here. It's really, really important that I keep his posture down with this grip. At any point, if I loosen up with this grip and let him posture back up, he's going to square back up with me and I'm going to be in the closed guard again. So I really need to keep him down using both this grip and my legs here. Okay? So now if Ruben tries to posture, it's going to be really, really hard for me to do so. Okay? Now from here, I'm going to switch my grip from the sleeve this way 
to this side. So right now I'm grabbing the sleeve like this and it's a little bit awkward on my hand. So I'm just gonna real quick do a switch on the grip this way and now it'll be a lot easier for me to push his arm across like this. Now from here, clamp onto his hip with my leg and I'm gonna keep pushing his arm across as I move my hips all the way to around to his back. Now once I've got the bottom triangle, I make my seatbelt, I can adjust my position. If I'm competing, I wanna to go to both hooks in so I can get my four points. And then I always like to look for the body triangle again for control.